Welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about cling furniture. So before starting this video like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. In the early 1900s, the Kling Furniture Company was founded in New York State. Indeed, John Alexander Kling bought a number of small businesses and factories in New York, including Chautauqua Company. Many people are likely familiar with Chautauqua Cherry Furniture, which is regularly found at thrift stores, auctions, and on eBay. Kling merged several of these New York firms into a single entity. The abundant forests of New York State, of course, proved a tremendous benefit to Kling's furniture workshops. Kling's most famous motto, Kling means solid, referred to their solid wood products. Furniture by Kling Maple. Kling Maple furniture makes up a significant section of the company's product line. From the 1930s until the 1960s, Kling Maple beds, Kling Maple nightstands, Kling Maple dresses, and Kling Maple tables were popular in American homes. Kling furniture was catapulted into high production for American consumers, because to its lovely light finish and durable maple wood composition, as well as a resurgent enthusiasm in classic classical shapes. Furniture by Kling Cherry During these decades, Kling Cherry furniture was also featured, in furniture catalogues and in the pages of House Beautiful. Kling furniture, like Permacraft furniture, manufactured excellent solid cherry furniture, from New York State's abundant cherry forests. Reddish-brown finishes were also available on Kling Cherry cabinetry, bedroom furniture and dining room sets. Kling Cherry furniture is frequently made in classic forms. Brass hardware, plain edges, and other conventional design alterations are common on Kling Cherry furniture. Mahogany furniture by Kling from time to time, Kling mahogany furniture surfaces. Solid mahogany planks are used in the majority of Kling's mahogany furniture. Kling was one of the few companies to use solid real mahogany, in their furniture production, especially after the Mahogany Association, developed its rating system for solid mahogany. To put it another way, the red tag, blue tag, and green tag, denote the several grades of exquisite mahogany used in furniture. How much is Kling furniture worth? People who have inherited or purchased Kling furniture, frequently want to know how much it is worth. To address this question, we must consider a variety of elements that influence value. A plain Kling maple nightstand, on the other hand, may only be worth $100 to $300, depending on its condition. A good mahogany Kling table and chairs, on the other hand, could tell a very different narrative at auction or in a quality vintage furniture store. These sets could be worth anything between $800 and $1,500. Finally, because light finish maple furniture has gone out of vogue slightly, Kling cherry furniture may cost even more than Kling maple furniture. In fact, excellent quality maple furniture may be simpler to sell on the used furniture market nowadays than typical brown finish cherry furniture. There are, of course, always exceptions to the rule. In locations like Vermont and New England, maple furniture still has a devoted following. Kling furniture, what happened to it? During the mid-20th century, Kling Furniture's popularity and craftsmanship were evident. So, how did Kling Furniture end up? In the 1970s, Kling Manufacturing was acquired by another major furniture firm. Ethan Allen bought the Kling Furniture Company around this time. Ethan Allen hired Kling to design a range of furniture dubbed, Kling Colonial, a play on both firms' names. This Kling Colonial line was based on classic 18th century design, but with a few tweaks. A Kling Colonial Hutch cabinet, for example, might adopt some early colonial design elements, like bracket feet, brass Chippendale fittings, and proportioning features like chest on chests. Customers could also expect larger drawers, and more practical features in the Kling Colonial collection, which were popular in homes at the time. What to look for in a KF sofa? There are numerous characteristics to look for in today's KF furniture. Authentic Kling furniture, of course, usually always has a matching paper tag, metal tag, or wood-burned logo on it. Of course, like any firm, this symbol has evolved over time, so you may want to consult an expert to accurately date your Kling furniture. You may also want to look for evidence of outstanding vintage condition on any potential buy. Drawers and doors that are regularly spaced and properly positioned are examples of this. Additionally, watch for furniture that is badly deformed or blemished. These problems are possible since Kling employed solid wood for virtually their entire production existence. Heat and water can bruise, discolor, and damage fine solid wood furniture. People can obviously devote the time and effort necessary to repair solid wood Kling antique furniture. 
When buying vintage furniture online, though, you may want to avoid this issue. Check out our carefully curated selection of top vintage cling furniture for sale listings below. You could just find exactly what you're looking for. Cling Furniture, based in New York State, produced outstanding solid cherry, mahogany, and maple furniture for many years. Ethan Allen eventually bought the company. Vintage Cling Furniture is of excellent quality, and is currently available at a discount. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.